Okay, in this video, after watching how to express the absolute value functions as piecewise, uh, this is an exercise. So please take your time, solve it, pause the video, and then come back to see the answer. Okay, guys, we're going to start with uh, number four. That is the first exercise. We have it over here, f of x, and we have again two parts. The first part, I will call it m of x and this first part is x minus 1 the same when x minus 1 is greater or equal to 0 that is for positive values and the opposite that is minus x plus 1 when x minus 1 is negative that means if we simplify the expressions that we have x minus 1 for values of x that are uh, greater than 1 I am just solving this inequality and if I solve the other inequality down is for values of x that are less than 1 now the second uh, part of this function I will call it n of x equals 2 and I have the same x plus 2 for when this part is positive and minus x minus 2 when that part that is x um, plus 2 is negative so again if we simplify the inequalities we have values of x greater or equal than negative 2 and we will have um, here minus x minus 2 for values of x that are less than negative 2 therefore we can create our numeric bar to show the values of x how we have two key points one is on negative 2 and then we have another key point on 1 right why those key points remember because those points are over here okay now uh, that we have the bar we can express the function down so i will write it f of x equals 2 and let's write the three intervals that are values of x that are less than negative 2 values of x that are between negative 2 and 1 and values of x that are more than 1 and what are the expressions for each of them okay please pay attention here for the first expression we're going to use uh, that values of x that are less than negative 1 here we have less than, ne than negative 2 sorry I'm using this the first one less than negative 2 is over here less than negative 2 is over here so we have both expression of m and n and we are going to solve listen please is minus x we're going to use therefore those two so it's minus x minus 1 minus minus x minus 2 I will write it minus x minus sorry plus 1 minus because of this minus over here and we use the second expression that is minus x minus 2 okay for the second part that is this part I didn't mark the first part the second part that is the values between negative 2 and 1 we are using uh, numbers uh, we are using this expression because it's still less than 1 but we are using this expression because it's more than negative 2 okay so if we write it it will be minus x plus 1 minus because remember we are writing this whole equation remember it minus and inside the parentheses we have x plus 2 and finally in the last one we are going to use these numbers that are more than 1 in this case this expression 
and this expression because more than one means also more than negative two so again we write the expression that is x minus one x minus one minus the second part that is x plus two okay then we can uh, make the expression here f of x and simplify the expression how it will be minus x minus minus x is actually minus x plus x is zero then one minus minus two is one plus two so it's three for values of x that are less than negative two the second one minus x minus x is minus two x and plus one minus two is minus one and that is for values that are between negative 2 and x and finally x minus x is again 0 and minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3 and that is for values that are greater than 1 and here we have the answer of the first one then for the second one we're going to do something similar uh, in this case we only have one expression that has absolute value this part we're going to write it m of x equals to 2x plus 1 when 2x plus 1 is positive and 2x minus 2x minus 1 when 2x plus 1 that is the inside part is negative that means um let me check okay that means that uh, we need to solve the inequalities of m of x so again is 2x minus 1 and if we solve this inequality here it will be uh, x greater or equal than negative one half because the one goes as negative this goes here as negative and then the two goes dividing all right now the second inequality it will be something similar we only change the sign and it will be the same minus 2x minus 1 so here we have the answer but only for the expression m of x then we find f of x how i will put it here f of x is equals to and i have to check this the complete expression the complete expression includes the absolute value that is what we have uh, solved already that is m of x minus 2x so it will be 2x minus 2x so it will be this what we have already solved minus 2x because we have a minus 2x over here and this is always it doesn't have an absolute value it's for all values of x so this is for x greater or equal to negative one half and also we have minus 2x plus sorry minus 2x minus 1 and again minus 2x because this minus 2x applies for all values of x even if they are greater equal or less than one half finally we can solve this expression and say that 2x plus 1 minus 2x is 1 for values of x that are greater or equal to negative 1 half and minus 2x minus 2x is minus 4x minus 1 and that's for values of x that are less than negative 1 half and here we have the answer of the second one finally for the third one that are the number 6 again we have a parabola so we are going to select again this function as m of x y m i'm just choosing any letter but you can use g uh, let's let's try g just to use a different one g of x and i will use this part g of x is x squared minus 4 and minus well this is for values where x squared minus 4 is positive is greater or equal to zero and the other one minus x squared plus 4 that is the opposite when x squared minus 4 is less than 0 
Okay, let's solve the inequalities. Uh, the first inequality will be this one. So this one over here, x squared minus four, greater or equal to zero. That means that x squared has to be greater or equal to four. If we take the square root, we will have two answers, right? That is positive two and negative two. What happens with the values of x? We are looking for values of x whose value squared is more than four. That means that x has to be more than two because three, five, four squared are more than four. But what happened with the other side is we are looking for values that are less than negative two because for these values, for example, negative three, if we make it a square, will be more than four. So that's why we divide it in two. Then the other um, inequality, we solve it in a similar way. Again, x squared minus four less than, uh, sorry, less than zero. Mm, sorry about that. Mm, that means that x squared has to be less than four. And again, we have two options. Sorry about the writing. Again, we have two options. One is uh, with positive two and the other one is with negative two. What happens if we want to have squares that are less than four? It means that X has to be more, sorry, less than two. And if we want to have values that are less than four and negative, that means that x has to be more than negative 2. For example, negative 1 squared is less than 4 because negative 1 squared is 1 and it's less than 4. And again, the same happened to me in the explanation. I forgot to write the equal here because we have an equal over here. And that's the reason. And finally, for this interval over here, if you see, we have an interval that goes from negative 2 to 2. So we can rewrite this part as values that goes from negative 2 to 2 and as you, as you can see those values from negative 2 to 2 squared will be less than 4 okay because we are not including the 2 and we are not including the negative 2 so now that we have the three parts we can write g of x g of x that is the part inside the bars is equals to and we write the three intervals. Sorry, this is ugly. We write the three intervals. The first one is values of x that are less or equal to negative two. The second one is values of x that goes from negative two to two. And the third interval is for values of x that are greater or equal to negative, sorry, greater or equal to two. Okay, this first interval is the blue one and the blue one is x squared minus four. This second interval is the green one and the green one is minus x squared plus four. You can see it here, here, the green one. Okay, and finally, this third one is again the blue one is over here as you can see and this value is again x squared minus 4 so here we have the expression for g of x but we are finding the expression of f of x you see f of x over there okay so that means that we have to add in all of them one so it will be x squared minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3 for values of x for any values actually we are adding 1 so minus x squared plus 4 plus 1 is plus 5 and that is for these values um, sorry it's for values that are mm -hmm. For values that are between negative 2 and 2 without including them. And finally we have again x squared minus 4 because it's here 
and plus one because we are writing f of x and we are adding one to everything so x squared minus four plus one is minus three and that's for values of x that are greater or equal to two and this is the answer of the last exercise i hope you have done it right